Where are you, Veronica? I got the goods. Only two because they sold out of the other one I wanted, but it's okay. Two is good to try out. Hello friends, this is Veronica from House of Sid and looky what I got. I'm so excited to make this video for you guys. Finally, after the rumors we've been hearing in the Nespresso community for months and months and months, it's finally here. Starbucks by Nespresso Virtual Capsule. So today's video is all about these capsules. They're finally available and I'm so excited. So you guys ready? Let's get started. Okay, it's cafecito time and today's cafecito is going to be a review of the Starbucks Virtual, Virtual, that's how you say them, Virtual Capsules. They're finally available. Um, the rumor's been going around that Starbucks uh, and Espresso were going to be making these capsules. Last year, 2019, they released the original capsules and now finally, 2020, something good has happened. We're getting these and they're available. I'm so excited. So just to give you guys a little background, um, online, Instagram, Facebook, Reddit, all of these uh, Nespresso groups and communities and, and people that um, love Nespresso had been talking about that the rumor was Starbucks and Nespresso were going to be releasing um, capsules for the virtual and somebody on Instagram asked Nespresso and they actually confirmed it saying yes early 2021 so you know people were excited about it but then about mid-November actually I have it here because I took screenshots um November 19th I believe was the date yes November 19th is when I and other people discovered on the Starbucks at home website that they had the virtual capsules on the Nespresso website. Crazy. Uh, it didn't have any information about release date or where to buy. It just said new and delicious for virtual. We were so very excited. So that fast forward about a week or so after this, um, somebody in New York spotted them at the Target. Someone in New York, Manhattan, NYC, spotted these on the shelves at Target and took a picture. And I'll put all these pictures on here and links if you guys want to see that. But they spotted these on the shelves at Target and forget about it. The Nespresso world went crazy. <laughs> The Nespresso community, like myself, went crazy. So slowly, slowly, they started showing up. I believe a few days later, somebody on the East Coast found them. Um, I'm not re remembering the state. I know I saw someone post from New York. I think it was Massachusetts and Florida. So slowly, they started showing up. And finally, this weekend, Sunday after Thanksgiving, they showed up here in Southern California. I was very excited. So what I did was I went on my Target app, 
Um, and I found a Target close to me, had these, so I ordered them online and I picked them up. So right now it seems like they're available at Target and Bed Bath & Beyond. A couple other people have spotted them at Bed Bath & Beyond. So if you want to buy these, you need to go on the website at your local, um, check your local Target or go on the website or the app for Target and check your area if they're available. It seems like not all the varieties are available just yet. I ordered the coffee because um, that's what I'm excited about. I'm excited to try the 7.7 .7 ounce coffee size. I want to try the espresso ones too, but these are more enticing and exciting for me. So I went to Target, I ordered them, I picked them up and sadly, okay, so here's my story. I ordered the three, um, a light blend, the blonde, medium, the pike, and the dark Sumatra. I wanted to try one of each, right? Why not? When uh, about an hour after my order, I got an email saying that one of the capsules, uh, one of the items in my order was not available. The blonde, not available. I don't know if they ran out of it or they didn't have it in stock. I don't know what happened, but it wasn't available. So I had to cancel it and was only able to get the pike and the Sumatra which is okay. I'm still on the hunt for the blonde and it seems like a lot of people want the blonde and it's being sold out. And if you could find it, let me know because I want to try it. Okay. So let's try it. Enough talking. So um, let's try the pike first. So basically this is what they look like. And the only thing that some people noticed and I noticed it too was that these boxes um, only have eight capsules. Normally Nespresso has 10 capsules per box of original and virtual. This one's only eight so what's up with that? Could, could they not have made a little bit bigger box? I don't know but anyways eight of them here. This is the Pike Place Roast Chocolate and Toasted Nut Notes. I didn't know those were the notes in the pike, but this is for um, Nespresso virtual machine, which is this one. And you get a 7.77 .77 fluid ounces of coffee. This is a medium blend with an intensity seven. So it has, you know, nice little Starbucks packaging. That's what it looks like in the back. It gives you all the little info. Um, let's see if this has, um, yes, it does. So it also has the production date. And so these were produced on 8-8-2020. And the Best Buy date is 8-8-2021. Okay, let's open them up. Oh, okay. So I think. See, oh, I did this wrong, but that's okay. So we're going to open them up. Oh, so I don't know if I messed them up from jiggling it around too much, but um, that's how they look inside. I don't think they're supposed to look like this. I think they're supposed to be a little more orderly. There is some little slots in here. So maybe I messed them up. Um, they're not real, they're not dented, which is good. Okay, you see that one standing in there? So that's how it's supposed to look in these little slots in there. So they're it holds them. It's just if you shake it up, it's going to come loose. So you get eight capsules, and it's the pretty Starbucks screen color. So you know, it looks just like the other ones. It has the Starbucks 7.77 .77 ounces or 230 mLs. You guys see that? Ta-da! I'm so excited. Uh, so these were 969, I believe is 
the price. And that's another thing. Some people have been reporting different prices. Um, I believe New York was $11.69. Someone in Chicago found them for $10.69 here. So the price is going to vary depending on where you live, I guess. Here in Southern California, they are $9.69. So some people have kind of already complained that the price is a little expensive. But if you think about it, it, you're paying for the convenience of going to your local Target, your local store and picking these up without having to order them online, without having to um, order a large amount to get free shipping and waiting a couple days. So, and you know, Target always has sales. And if you have a red car, you get the additional 5% off. So I don't think it's too bad for getting um, these at the store whenever you need them, whenever you want them. And Starbucks. Okay, so my machine is on here. Let's try it. Let's see. I'm, I'm very excited. I had these for a day and I just could not wait any longer to try these. So we're gonna put it in here. So this one says intensity seven, chocolate and toasted nut notes. Okay, let's try it. So let's see. So now that we have Starbucks, I hope that means that in the future we will be seen other branded um, coffees in the virtual capsules. Oh, it smells like Starbucks. <laughs> it really does actually. I used to be one of those pers persons that went to Starbucks pretty much every day and would get Pike Place, Grande, in the venti cup and spent a lot of money. So having these for the Nespresso at home is actually very exciting for me. And I think a lot of people are going to be very happy. Okay, it has the crema that Nespresso is known and loved for. Okay, that's running a little long there. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Okay, it looks like a medium. There you go. That's the crema. Okay, here we go. First sip of Pike Place Roast for the virtual machine. Okay, this is definitely um, lighter than buying Pike Place drip brewed coffee at Starbucks. It doesn't taste, you know what, it doesn't, I know a lot of people complain that Starbucks tastes burnt. This does not taste burnt to me, so I don't like it. Okay, so taste what... Smells good, taste wise, it's good. It's not very strong. It's kind of on the more uh, mild side, I think. And again, I'm just comparing it to the Pike Place I've had at Starbucks or the ground coffee I buy to make at home. You know what? This is coming out really hot because I know there are some capsules from Nespresso that do not come out as hot. And this one is pretty hot, which I like. The crema is pretty good. It hasn't um, dissipated or faded away. And normally I do drink all my coffees with um, half and half creamer, but 
this one is good. It does not have a bitter aftertaste, actually, which I was thinking it might be a little bitter, but no bitter aftertaste. I like this. This is definitely a coffee I could see myself drinking every day. Just your regular Pike Place coffee every day cup. And now the Sumatra. I actually had never had Starbucks Sumatra coffee before. This one is a single origin, a very good. I never had it before until I got the Nespresso machine on the original line. They do have the capsules. Um, and I tried the Sumatra Espresso. Wow, it was really, really good. I was actually very surprised. So this one is the Sumatra Earthy and Herbal Notes. 7.7 .7 ounces, eight capsules. I know this is pretty popular. And like I said, I had never tasted it until I got my Nespresso machine. So I don't know why I waited so long. Um, and this is an intensity 10 dark. Okay, I'm gonna do a better job of opening this one. Okay, see this one looks better because I did not shake it like the other one. So. That's what it looks like, which I think is good packaging because I know some of the packaging for the Nespresso is really loose and a lot of times people complain of dented capsules. But these look pretty nice. Okay, let's check it out. I like the color. And that's another sign that you know this is a Starbucks because it'll have the green dot because the color looks similar to another Nespresso capsule, but if it has a little green dot, you know it's a Starbucks. It has a Starbucks name on there. And single origin. Let's try it. I really honestly wanted to buy one of each capsule. It would have probably cost, I don't know, maybe a lot of money, but my store didn't have all of them. So as soon as I'm able to locate the other capsules from Starbucks, I will be buying them and I'll try them out. And if you guys wanna see another video, let me know, leave me a comment. So let me know right now uh, if you're interested in the Starbucks virtual, if you have the virtual machine and if you're going to try them out, if you're excited, leave me a comment, let me know. I wanna know what you guys are thinking about this. Okay, so let's make the Sumatra. I think I like the box. I mean, they could have made it a little taller to fit 10 capsules. So we're gonna have to, you know, give Starbucks a piece of our, piece of our mind and ask them why is there only eight capsules here? The espresso capsules for virtual, it is 10. So that's another thing. Why is the coffee capsules only eight and the espresso 10? I don't know. Okay, so here it is. Oh, I could see the coffee swirling in there. There, this one, I think the creme is a little thicker on this one. Okay, Sumatra, let's try it. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm in love with this coffee. Oh yeah. Definitely a lot smoother than the Pike. Ooh, this one's good. I think I found a new favorite Starbucks coffee, the Pike. It's pretty smooth. It's yeah, not bitter at all. And it doesn't, it doesn't taste, it doesn't have like, um, I said it's not bitter, so no bitter aftertaste.
This is actually really, really good. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with Starbucks virtual capsules. I know not everyone loves Starbucks. I'm a fan of Starbucks. So if you are a fan of Starbucks, I highly recommend you try to find these in your local store and you try them out. Not everyone's going to love them because of the price or because the taste, but I'm a fan. I approve. House of Sid approved. Go out and try them. If I had to pick between the Pike and the Sumatra, I think I'm going to go with the Sumatra. Yeah, the Sumatra. The Pike's good too, but I think since I've been using the Nespresso machine, my coffee taste has changed a little bit. I don't know. Have, has it changed for you guys? I used to like very light, almost, um, I used to put a lot of milk creamer in my coffee. I think I might be able to start drinking black coffee now. I, I'm happy. I'm impressed. It's thumbs up for me. Um, like I said, yes, they're, they seem a little pricey, but I think eventually we will start seeing sales and discounts. Um, so go out and try these. I highly recommend them. I'm excited to try the other varieties, but yeah, this is, this is good. I'm happy. I'm excited. It's a good day. Something good has come out of 2020. So let me know what you guys are thinking about the Nespresso Virtual Starbucks. Have you tried them? Are you planning to try them? Make sure you give our video a thumbs up if you like it. Also, if you like my new setup here away from the kitchen, let me, let me know. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and share our videos with your coffee loving friends and family and help our channel grow. Thanks guys, I'm very happy and excited for these capsules. Now I need to go drink two cups of coffee because you know, we can't let this go to waste. So we'll see you guys next week. Bye, oh, and shout out to Lana. I know you were asking me about this video and I wanted to make it so I could get it out to you guys as quickly as possible. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy it.